Superyachts are the ultimate epitome of boating luxury. In this video, we'll look at some of the smallest superyachts available on the market, which are also sometimes called pocket superyachts. This sector of the boating market has grown popular over recent years for both buyers and charter companies, so we'll talk about their current prices and important features. Stay tuned to see which superyacht earned our top spot. A superyacht is generally considered a recreational boat that's longer than 24 meters. The 24 to 32 meter segment is the smallest of this category, and they are coveted simply because they are less expensive, easy to move around, and require less maintenance, without sacrificing comfort. These beautiful vessels can serve as a luxurious home away from home, for those lucky enough to afford them. They offer a lot of exciting amenities and creature comforts, as well as the opportunity to enjoy long cruises and access remote bays along the coast. You're watching Harbour Masters, a weekly showcase of information and updates on the latest boats and the best luxury yachts. At number 5, we have the Sunseeker 88. This Sunseeker yacht has enough room for four crew members, and eight passengers to cruise in style and comfort. It is 26 meters long and has a beam of 7 meters. It is powered by twin MTU 10V2000 engines, with a maximum total of 4,000 horsepower, allowing it to reach speeds of up to 28 knots, or over 50 km per hour. With approximately 2,907 gallons or 11,000 liters of fuel capacity, and 370 gallons or 1,400 liters of fresh water capacity, this pocket superyacht can achieve a range of 1,200 nautical miles, or over 2,200 kilometers. The Sunseeker 88 has Sunseeker's industry leading beach club area, which is accessible via two LED illuminated teak stairs. This beach club area transforms the stern into an outdoor refuge, with the X10 sunbed that can be adjusted to face the back of the boat at water level, or the front of the boat when lifted into the deck. This area also offers access to a ceiling-mounted rain shower and plenty of storage space, including two lockers for sea bobs or other water toys. With the optional Flybridge jet ski crane, this enlarged bathing platform can also transport a jet ski or small tender. This yacht has a starting price of 6.6 .6 million US dollars. At number 4, we're featuring the Azimut Grande 27 Metri. This is marketed as a small superyacht with an imperial look and feel. It is 27 meters long, while its beam is 10 meters wide. It is powered by twin-man RV-12 engines, with a maximum horsepower of 1,900 each, allowing it to reach speeds of up to 28 knots, or almost 52 km per hour. It has approximately 2,500 gallons or 9,500 liters of fuel capacity, and 528 gallons or 2,000 liters of water capacity, which can last for a maximum range of over 800 nautical miles, or almost 1,500 kilometers. The designers made a lively flybridge yacht, with a unique look that won an award at the World Yacht Trophies for best performance. Even though the lines are very sporty, they are also elegant, and the big windows let in a lot of natural light. Teak, mahogany, oak, and Carora marble are used to make the interiors. The Azimuth Grande 27 Metri is billed by its maker, as the only 27-meter boat in the world with a raised wheelhouse, five cabins, and a wide hull. It is also the biggest open-plan yacht in the world. That is, the yacht is set up with everything it needs, like furniture, before the superstructure is put on the hull. The Azimuth Grande 27 Metri is available for over 9 million US dollars. The Princess X95 is at number 3. 
The X95 has a striking design language, that is made up of beautifully sculpted surfaces and long flowing lines. It is 29 meters long, while its beam is 7 meters. This model is powered by twin-man V12 engines, with a maximum horsepower of 1,900 each. It can reach a top speed of 21 to 23 knots, or over 40 kilometers per hour, and it is reported to have a range of about 1,700 nautical miles or around 3,200 kilometers, at 10 knots of cruising speed. This watercraft has approximately 3,650 gallons or over 13,800 liters of fuel capacity, and 492 gallons or 1,865 liters of water capacity. At its core is a unique idea for the flybridge and the interior space on the main deck. On the lower deck of the Princess X-95, the full-beam master stateroom with its own bathroom takes center stage. It is joined by the forward stateroom, which has a walk-in closet and its own bathroom. More guest cabins on the port, and starboard sides can each be set up with two single beds or an electrically convertible double bed, and there are also plenty of rooms for the crew. The Princess X-95 costs 12 million US dollars. The Mangusta 104 REV is at number 2. According to Overmarine Group, it's a revolutionary entry-level yacht, in the iconic Maxi Open range. It is 32 meters long, while its beam is 7 meters wide. This model is powered by two MTU engines with a maximum horsepower of 2,600 each. These allow it to reach a cruise speed of 25 knots, or 47 kilometers per hour at half-load, and a modest 370 nautical mile range or 685 kilometers. This watercraft has approximately 2,770 gallons or 10,500 liters of fuel capacity, and 425 gallons or 1,600 liters of water capacity. Lobanoff Design made the exterior and interior designs of the Mangusta 104 REV. The decks are built to equal if not surpass five-star hotels, with full-height windows that offer natural lighting, alongside the relaxed ambient lighting. The cabin area offers a full-beam master suite, a VIP cabin, and two guest rooms that can sleep a total of up to 10 people. With its wavy lines and refined and compact styling, this small superyacht is sure to turn heads in any marina. It is valued at over 12 million US dollars. Next, we'll share our selection for the top spot. If you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe, hit the bell icon, and don't miss out on our weekly content. Finally, we chose the new Ferretti Yachts 1000, for our top spot. Ferretti Yachts is the brand to choose when you're looking for a yacht that balances a classic look with contemporary features. This yacht is 30 meters long, and its beam is 7 meters. It is powered by two MTU 16 V 2000 M 96 L engines, bringing to the table a maximum speed of 28 knots, or over 50 km per hour. The range is only a decent 280 nautical miles or just a little over 500 km, supported by approximately 2,378 gallons or 9,000 litres of fuel capacity, and 349 gallons or 1,320 litres of water capacity. However, what it lacks in speed and range, it absolutely makes up for in its design, and quality of life features. This yacht boasts the finest craftsmanship from world-class Italian design. The exterior of the Ferretti Yachts 1000 was made to look sleek and athletic, and its smooth surfaces were inspired by cars. 
Blacks and whites are layered on top of each other, and thin supports and slanted windows suggest speed and lightness. The interiors are sophisticated, with colors and tones that evoke warmth. Depending on your choice of classic or contemporary styles, the interiors may be customized with different materials and finishes. While still technically considered a small superyacht, this is the biggest on our list, with the capacity for up to 10 guests traveling in style, inside its gorgeous and ultra-spacious suites. This yacht is reported to cost around 13 million US dollars. In your view, which of these smallest superyachts is the best, and deserves the top spot? What do you think of this boating category, and are these watercraft worth the price? Let us know if you enjoyed this video, and we look forward to reading your comments and boating experiences. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe, and check out the rest of the channel for more interesting boating videos. Thanks for watching, and smooth sailing!